This time on Quick Chinese Idioms, we will learn about two idioms that originated from the Three Kingdoms era and have similar meaning. The first idiom is 画饼充饥. Lu Yu was the Minister of Personnel in the Kingdom of Wei. Before his promotion to the Minister of Personnel, Emperor Wen of Wei asked Lu Yu who should take over his old position. Emperor Wen of Wei said, This is your first task as the Minister of Personnel. You should find someone who is skilled and knowledgeable in their field, not someone who is famous. A person's fame is like the drawing of a flat cake on the ground. You can look at it, but you can't eat it when you are hungry. Lu Yu remembered these words from the emperor, and he was able to appoint many talented people to the right positions. The second idiom, 望梅止渴, originated from a story about Cao Cao, the famous warlord from the Three Kingdoms era. During Cao Cao's campaign to capture the Wancheng district, he and his army encountered extreme hot and dry weather. Cao Cao saw his troops suffering from dehydration, and the army came to a halt. He ordered some of his troops to seek water and dig a well, but they found no water. Cao Cao then moved to the front of the army and pointed at a hill in the far distance and said, I know that place. There's a large plum forest there. Once we reach that place, you will be able to eat as many plums as you wish. The soldiers began to imagine the sour taste of the plum and started to have saliva flooding in their mouths. The whole army felt motivated and began to march at a fast pace once again. Eventually, Cao Cao and his army managed to find water and continue on with their campaign. The idioms 画饼充饥 and 望梅止渴 both means finding comfort from imaginary things. It's kind of similar to escape from reality or to feed on illusions. And because it is imaginary, it will not solve the problem at hand. 画饼充饥 literally means using a drawing of a flat cake to stop hunger. And 望梅止渴 literally means looking at or thinking about plum to stop thirst. To use these idioms, simply put them in a sentence to point out a situation that fits the description and meaning of these two idioms. For example, 你这是画饼充饥? or 你这是望梅止渴? The pronunciations are 画饼充饥, 画饼充饥, and 望梅止渴? 望梅止渴? If you like the content of this video, you can hit the subscribe or the like button for more quick Chinese idioms in the future.